This is Exoborn, a brand new extraction shooter. I know, yes, another one, but where other extraction shooters usually fail to hold my attention, Exoborn got me kinda addicted. I got invited to play the closed beta test and I already clocked in over 16 hours despite it being an incomplete build of the game. So it definitely has something special in my opinion and now we'll take you through a game to explain why. First I want to say a big thanks to Sharkmob, the developers of Exoborn, for sponsoring this video. There is a link down below to wishlist the game on Steam. I highly recommend it if you're interested. And you can also sign up for potential playtests in the near future. Now let's drop in, shall we? Okay, here we go. My character looks pretty cool as always. You don't really have a say in where you want to draw, by the way. You're getting dropped somewhere randomly. Ooh, it's nice weather, actually. That's gonna change in a minute, you will see. We're doing solo, and uh, as you can see, that's not really a good idea. But we'll see what happens. Okay, here we are. Look at this freaking sniper rifle. Holy smokes, that is crazy. Holy crap, you hear that? That is a tower with a certain name that I forgot, and that can change the weather. Like I said, the weather's gonna change uh, in a minute. Oh, this, look, at, I, I didn't notice the clouds moving like this before. That is amazing, there's a freaking tornado. Yeah, tornado warning. That is so immersive. So, this PvPvE extraction shooter does something different than most. First of all, it's third person perspective. Most extraction shooters don't have that. The holy crap, that's a fire tornado! Holy crap! Yeah, I need to watch out. Holy smokes. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, we're going straight to, to, to the tornado. Oh my goodness, I did it. There's four tornadoes! There's four tornadoes! So anyway, before we continue, I need to complete some assignments. As you can see the top left, I need to complete a world event, support call. You can find that by doing these things. I'm gonna go with this one because that's very close by, obviously. Right there, right in the middle of the tornado. I don't like that. So like any extraction uh, shooter, you have different missions that you can complete, obviously. I'm still at the very start, so my uh, assignments, my missions are very basic. What I'm doing now is calling a supply drop, which is a support call world event. I need to complete five of them. I already did four, so this should be good. There we go. Let's see what we got. Absolutely nothing special. I'll take these, though. Repair kit. Where the hell did you guys come from? So as you can see, when you're shooting, it's in first person perspective. Like the whole game is in third person, everything like traversal, parachute, everything is in third person, which I really like, it's really different. But shooting is in first person, which I also really like, because as we all know, first person shooting is the best kind of shooting. Can we make it on top? I also like the fact that you have a uh, grappling hook, always. It's pretty much always uh, on. The cooldown is very minimal, so you can use it a lot. So where do we find batteries? They are pretty rare, but I think, actually, right here... No, not right here. Right here, yeah. Here's a battery, so we need to go right there. So as you can see, the main thing about this game that makes it stand out, besides it being in third person and in first person, is the weather system. That's a big component of the gameplay. I mean, look at that! That's dope. And the mobility. You have this exosuit because you are... Oh! You saw that? Somebody's right here. Yep, that's that's an enemy. That's an enemy player. Maybe we can hit him. Okay, this guy sucked. Let's destroy him. Maybe he has a self revive. I'm not gonna wait for that. What do you have for me? That's so. So that's an actual player, and you can see that that's pretty different compared to other like NPCs and stuff. So a battery can be found somewhere here. Let's see if we can find it. Gunplay feels actually pretty good. As you can see, it's not that easy to, uh, to just hold down the trigger. It, the, the weapon's got some kick to it. TTK is fast, but not too fast. It feels, I don't know, it feels good. It feels good in my opinion. Maybe there's a battery right here. EMP kit, no. Another thing that stands out to me in this game is that the, um, is the fact that the lore it's actually pretty cool. Like you have little cutscenes and stuff like that that gives you more information about the world. And I don't know, I kind of like the story. It's a post-apocalyptic setting, obviously. And the customization is also pretty in depth. You can customize everything from your style. So, you know, cosmetic items, your clothes, your 
uh, headgear, stuff like that, but also your loadout and the attachments on your weapon and different abilities, even your exo rig to suit your own playstyle. For example, in this build of the game, you have three different rigs. The Kodiak X05, which is more of a defensive suit that allows you to take more damage while sprinting. So that's perfect for going in hot. You have the Kestrel EX3, which is all about mobility and staying airborne as it lets you hover in mid-air for a short time. So this is also great for scouting ahead. And my personal favorite, the Viper STR7, which is the perfect rig for a solo player like me. Because it allows you to have knowledge about enemy presence in your vicinity like you saw earlier. So that gives you the opportunity to either engage or perhaps play it safe. So I think every squad should at least have one player with this EXO rig because it just gives you so much information. Every time that sound, it makes me so scared. Okay, so let's take a look at the map, shall we? This is an artifact location where we can find, in this case, a blue artifact. Artifacts are kind of like loot boxes that you can extract with and then get better loot out of it. The ability to traverse the world, either by, like this, because you know there's a storm now, the drift or draft, whatever it's called, and you can use it to just get around with your freaking parachute. That is so dope. What is shooting? There's a guy right there. Downed. There wasn't there was a real player! Let's see if we can take him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is he? He fell down. I think he revived himself. Where is he? I downed him, but he, I think he fell down. And then he revived himself, I think. So the only reason I knew that there was a guy right there is because I saw the enemy NPC shoot at him. I mean, look at the weather like effects. It's so freaking dope. Let's get the artifact. There we go. We need to extract with this and preferably with a battery, but why don't I find it? Somebody's here. He's not on top of the thing. Yep, there he is again. You see, that means that he's in my vicinity. Now, if he has the same exosuit as me, he has the same passive ability, so he knows I'm close by as well. I'm trying to locate him. There we go. Weather cleared up again. I like that the weather changes that often. It keeps you on your toes. I think that's really cool. Yep, this is the range where the guy is in. So if I go here, it's gone. And as you can see the bottom right, now he's back again. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about regarding this game is the third person peeking. The thing that I'm doing right now. Yep, two, two players. So that's a real player. And I downed him. Let's get rid of him. There we go. Killed one guy, one of the two. That was pretty random, but they usually go towards the artifact um, location. So that might be the reason why. You know what, let's leave him. Uh oh. There they are. Let's get the hell out of here. The NPCs are not amazing, but sometimes they can gang up on you and you lose more health than you know it. And uh, yeah, then you're screwed. There is a purple artifact, crash dropship. You know what? Let's go right here. Rebirth trace is almost complete. So I think when that happens, people know where you are on the map, if I remember correctly. There we go, it starts to rain again. When that rebirth trace is complete, that means that you are um, inside the match long enough for people to be able to track you or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but it, it's something like that. And I kind of don't want that, actually. Let's take out these guys. Is there any loot here? Where is my backpack? I'm telling you, it's so weird. Break. You can get these coils. The map is pretty big, but because you can traverse so quickly, it doesn't feel too big, you know what I mean? There's enough to explore, but it doesn't mean you can get to the other side of the map in like a couple of minutes, if that makes sense. I like that. The mobility in this game is the thing I like the most probably. I, li I like it. Gunplay feels good. Third person uh, shooting mechanics feels good. Location compromise. Get to an extraction point. Okay, so people know where I am now. Oh no. No, 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 no. I didn't want that at all.
Fuck! No, no, no! It's such good loot! Don't do it! Please, bro, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I'm begging you, don't do it. Uh, don't do it, don't do it! Don't do it, I'm begging you, don't do it. Please, don't do no, it. No, no, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it, I'm actually a nice guy. Oh, thank you, Tommy, man, you're a, you're a G, you're a real G. Yeah, come on, come on, I'm gonna help you. Awesome, thank you so much. Artifact for you. Okay, so this guy's actually friendly. Artifact's done now. Look at this, this guy's helping me get the purple artifact, that is so dope. I got all the shit for it. Extra core units. Down, find some cover. No, please tell me you have another revive. I don't think so, bro. Please, for the love of God, have a I don't think so. You don't have another? No, I used one and, and, and that's all I had with me. I don't think anything. there's anything we can do, right? Can you pick my revolver? There's nothing. And I can't revive you. Fuck. Oh, that sucks. Shit, no. Damn it. No way. We actually found it. I can't believe I died like that. I didn't realize it would explode. I'm so stupid. <laughs> well, this is an extraction shooter, guys. So uh, these things can happen. There we go. What do you have? I don't expect them to... Field coil! Nice! We got it! Extract and turn objective into net. That is some guy that I'm doing this mission for. We called in an extraction vehicle. I guess we'll extract all those hours. Dropship leaving. Oh. Well, I think my teammate is dead. Look at that! He's dead! Dropship left for home base. My teammate actually got in the freaking ship and there were some enemies inside and they killed him and now he, he's gone. Let's extract, shall we? Let's extract. This is nerve wracking as it is. Here we go. Call dropship. There we go. Now we wait. Okay, go. Leaving in seven, six, come on. Oh, this is always so nerve wracking. We didn't meet uh, many players in this match, but I'm just glad we could actually extract and complete a mission, you know what I mean? Yes, successful extraction. That is so dope, man. It feels so good. And that's about it for the video. Again, a big thanks to Shark Mob for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out the link down below to wishlist the game on Steam. I definitely recommend it. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. The team is also looking for feedback which I gave as well, so they're actively listening. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and with that being said, I see you guys next time.